Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. The testimony of time, places, and origin of the body for or against people. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, the day when their own tongues, hands, and feet will testify against them about what they have done. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The Day of Judgment is the Day of Truth in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, glory be to him, judges among his creation with fairness and bring witnesses who testify in truth. The Almighty Allah said, that is, a, that is a day of truth. So whoever wishes to do so should take the path that lead to his Lord. Allah, glory be to him, also said, We support our messenger and the believers in the present life and on the day when witnesses arise. arise. In another Quranic verse, Allah said, The prophets and witnesses will be brought in. Fair judgment will be given between them. They will not be wronged. Time will testify for or against people. Whether they utilize time in making good deeds and developing the universe, or wasted it in making corruption. When contemplating the glorious Quran, one finds that the Almighty Allah refer to the testimony of days for or against people. As he the Almighty said, by the promised day, by the witness and that which is witnessed, the Prophet peace be upon him also said, the promised day is the day of resurrection. The day which is witnessed is the day of Arafah. And the witness is Friday. al Hasan al-Basri said, Upon every day break, the day calls, O son of Adam, I'm a new day that witness your deeds, so utilize me, for I will not return till the day of judgment. Days and time bear witness to the acts of creatures on the day of resurrection, and they are responsible for them before Allah, the Almighty. Our Prophet وسلم, said, The feet of a slave of Allah shall not move on the day of judgment until he asked about four things about his life and what he did with it, about his youth and how he spent it, about his wealth and how he earned it, and where he spent it on, and about his knowledge, what did he do with it. Such as a time testify testifies for people, place testify for to them too. The glorious Quran told us that the earth will testify on the day of resurrection for the deeds people performed on it. The Almighty Allah said, When the earth is shaken violently in its last to quaking, when the earth throw out its burdens, when man cries, what is happening to it? On that day, it will tell everything because your Lord will inspire it to do so. The Prophet ﷺ said, It testifies about what every male or female slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did upon its service. It says, he did that and that on this day. This is the meaning of its telling of everything. The Prophet ﷺ said, Your homes will record your traces. Thus, the earth will testify for the people who made good deeds and helped others, and will also testify against those who did, who did evil deeds. The Almighty Allah said in the Quran, we shall certainly bring the deed back to life, 
and we record what they send ahead of them as well as what they leave behind. We keep an account of everything in a clear record. When commenting on the Quranic verse, neither heaven nor earth shed a tear for them, Ibn Kathir said, they had no good deeds that ascend to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the heavens and the earth did not weep for them. And they have no places in the earth in which they worship Allah so that these places would not miss them. This indicates that if a Muslim dies, the places where he used to worship Allah will weep for his loss. And the people in the earth whom he did them good will weep for him. Regarding the adhan for prayer, the Prophet ﷺ said, All jinn, men, or any other creatures who hear the voice of al-mu'adhin as far away as it's possible to hear it will testify on his behalf on the day of resurrection. Also, the Prophet ﷺ said about the black stone in Mecca, I swear that Allah will certainly raise it up on the day of resurrection with eyes with, with, with which it will see and the tongue with which it will speak. And it will give testimony about those who touched it in a proper manner. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that the origins of the body will testify for or against people, and whether they use them for good or evil deeds, the Almighty Allah said, their ears, eyes, and skins will testify against them for their misdeeds. Allah, glory be to him, also said, on that day we shall seal up their mouths, but their hands will speak to us, and their feet bear witness to everything they have done. And as reported that once we were in the company of the Prophet وسلم, and Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, when he smiled and said, Do you know why I, why I laughed? We said, Allah and his Messenger know best. Thereupon he said, It was because there came to my mind the talk which a servant would have with his Lord on the day of judgment. He would say, My Lord, have you not guaranteed me protection against injustice? Allah would say, Yes. Then the servant would say, I have not deemed valid any witness against me but my own self. And he, the Almighty, would say, Well, Enough would be the witness of yourself against you and that of the two angels who had been appointed to record your deeds. Then the seal would be set upon his mouth and it would be set to his hand and feet to speak and they would speak of his deeds. Then the mouth would be made free to talk, he would say, to the hands and feet, be away. Let there be curse of Allah upon you. It was for your safety that I contended. There is no doubt. That is a blessing from Allah for the righteous people that their times, places, and origin of the body will testify for their good deeds they did in their lives. It is a beautiful thing that such a testimony will be like a certificate or appreciation on the day of judgment for people who did good deeds for themselves, their nation, and their society. And thus people, thus, and thus those people will be will feel happy on that day, and they will be informed. Enter paradise. You and your spouses, you will be filled with joy. May Allah make us from those people, I mean. May Allah make us among the people of paradise. And may Allah protect our country, Egypt, and all other countries of the world. Thank you.